Welcome to Maddie May Farm. I'm Scott. So a new website's been launched, doylestownfirewood.net, and the link will be in the description below if you want to check it out. So one of the things that I use here uh, for the firewood business is IBC totes, and I've seen that many of you also use them. Uh, they can be moved around the tractor, and they're very convenient. And you can put a measured amount of wood in them also. I generally will put a face cord of wood uh, in an IBC tote. And today I'm going to be taking one apart and reconstructing it to be used here on the farm for firewood. So come along and check it out. So I found a great supplier for IBC totes. Uh, they're food grade. They're used once before I buy them and they're rinsed uh, before I pick them up. And because I buy everything that he has, he's, this particular supplier gives me a really good price on them and they're clean. So the first step is to get these, the IBC tote deconstructed. Some bars across the top that, that allow the totes to be stacked and holds the bladder inside. So we take that off, take the bladder out, and that's the first step. This can be a little tricky. Just have to find the right angle. Next step is to get the bladder out of the tote. This particular tote is a 275-gallon tote, and they generally are a standard size. About 46 inches wide, 38 inches deep, is about 40 inches high. So what I do is on the long end, I cut out an opening, so once we put the lid on top, you're able to reach inside and stack the firewood. So we're going to cut the front of this out. The next step is to deal with this bladder. Uh, what I generally do is just find a middle point, cut them in half. Okay, now we have the bladder cut in half. 
and for now we're just going to discard one half of it. Now the next step here is to get the lid secured on the top of the IBC tote as a roof. Now I generally use uh, zip ties at the four corners to secure the lid to the IBC tote. Initially I was using standard zip ties and they just weren't holding up. Um, so I went online and I found uh, zip ties that were just under nine inches long, which was the shortest I could find, were more than a half inch thick, almost three quarters of an inch thick. And they were rated at 250 pounds each. I found these on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link below so you know which ones I got. But these are heavy duty. I've not had one break yet. So we're going to secure this. What I do is I generally just get it <coughs> up here close. Uh, I'm using a, a pretty large drill bit. And drill one hole about half inch to an inch above the bottom of the tote and then a second hole above that. And then if you're working by yourself, like I am today, I secure this with a zip tie. I don't pull it all the way tight, but now the tote is hanging and I can do the other four corners. and I loosely secure each corner as I go around. Okay, now that all four corners are zip tied, I'm going to go around and pull all the corners tight. And now the, one of the last steps here is to remove some of the face of this bladder uh, so you can reach in to access and stack the wood. Ultimately, this, this tote is ready to go. Each tote will be a little bit different because your lids are going to be different because it'll be de depend on how you cut your bladder in half. I like to measure and figure out where my face cord line would be. So as you guys know, a full cord of wood is 128 cubic feet of, of wood. So a face cord will be 42.6 cubic feet. So I like to round up just a little bit. What I like to do is fill this to 43 cubic feet. So let's figure out how high I'm going to have to go in this particular tote. So two rows of 16 inch splits is 32 inches, which is two feet, eight inches. Our inside length for this particular tote rail to rail is three foot, nine inches. And we'll, for this particular tote, we're probably going to have to fill it almost all the way up. So four foot four, it's forty three point three. So we want to be four foot four inches in this tote. 
clean the face of this up a little bit. It's a little wet out here today. So we're looking for that four foot four mark. So now for this particular tote, no matter where it goes in the rotation, I'll see the mark and I'll know that I need to fill it to that line for a face cord. And I'll even write face cord on it or one third cord. parts of these IBC totes is I can now bring it to where my wood already is and I can fill it and move it to where I want it to be. This is one of uh, the completed IBC totes that I already have marked and filled and it's by our roadside stand. So if somebody wanted to buy a third of a cord or a face cord of wood with their own truck, it's here to help themselves. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, I hope that was informative and you can use some of these tips. I'll put the link below for the uh, zip ties that I use, the 250 pound zip ties. And until next time, let all that you do be done in love. See you.